Rural Development, 10th standard. In this part, uh, let's check it out. All the details of this lesson. In this session, we are going to discuss about the need of uh, rural development, importance of rural development, and what is the role of uh, Panchayat Raj in rural development and uh, women, the role of women in rural development, decentralization, all these aspects we are going to discuss in this session. First of all, what is the need of rural development in present day? Why there is a great need of rural development? For what purpose we should develop the rural areas? All these details I would like to summarize. First of all, you know India is a land of villages. When we develop the villages, that leads to the development of the country. Since 68.84 uh, village population in India, village population is about 68.84 according to 2011. So we must develop the rural areas then only it is the development of the nation you know it is said by Mahatma Gandhi ji and one more thing one third of the population lives in object poverty there is more poverty in India to alleviate this poverty problem we must develop the rural areas and uh, what is the true development the development of villages is the true development so we need to there is a need of rural development rural industries are declining so that there is a need of rural development. Rural people are migrating towards urban area due to poverty. We have to stop the migration towards urban areas so that need of rural development. Due to liberalization and globalization, it affects a lot on farmers deepening the problems so that rural development is a great need because of this poverty increasing agriculture contribution to the national income decreasing because of failure of agriculture and uh, it's widening the gap between rural areas and urban areas. There is an inequality between uh, urban areas and uh, rural areas. So that widening a great gap between two areas. Let's move to the meaning of uh, rural development. Okay, a process of economic and social upliftment is nothing but rural development. It is the upliftment of economic and social together. And one more uh, definition, overall development of rural areas to improve the quality of life improving the quality of life is nothing but rural development in one sense 
one more definition is there integrated process of social economic and political development of poorer section of village is called rural development socially economically and political development of poor section of the people that is called rural development now what is the importance of rural development importance you know agriculture and now non agriculture development contributes overall development of the country so it is important and increase the agricultural production and create greater demand for industrial product so it is important literacy skill to increase with the increase of literacy skill the productivity is also higher productivity is possible by literating the rural areas people better health results higher work participation there is a problem of health in rural areas if we give health facilities for them there is a higher work participation so it is important gradual transformation is possible through cottage and small scale industry last one very important see migration migration will be reduced poverty will be reduced when we develop the villages so it is important decentralization very important concept decentralization what is decentralization providing administrative power and responsibility of developing the village to people giving responsibility and giving uh, administrative power to people that is called decentralization it is also nothing but power sharing people participation planning these three aspect we have to remember that is power sharing people participation and planning these are the important concepts of grama swaraj of gandhi ji power sharing people participation and planning one statement is there decentralization reduces exploitation how this question has been asked decentralization reduces exploitation one mass question but quite uh Uh, i mean uh, students unable to answer this what we have to write it upholds human dignity independence nurture human values decentralization upholds human dignity independence nurture the human values so that it reduces the exploitation and you know panchayat raj come to existence in 1993 according to 73rd amendment of indian constitution these two we have to remember 73rd amendment 1993 and according to this uh, amendment the new system brought in uh, administration of villages what new changes brought in that is three tier system brought in three tier system gram panchayat taluk panchayat and district panchayat direct periodic elections set up second one reservations given in election finance administration responsibility given to the form uh, sorry people staffing was given in uh, panchayat 
staffing to work all these things these all things brought in according to the 73rd amendment in 1993 this is also very important aspect you have to remember and we move on the role of panchayat raj institutions in rural development this question repeatedly asked for sometimes 3 marks and sometimes 4 marks most probably 4 marks so we should remember all these things what is the role it plays a great role in uh, enabling the rural people to participate in rural development participation of rural people and implementation implementing uh, various schemes of the government that is through panchayat raj i mean in eradication of poverty and sub, uh, public security and amenity basic facilities for rural areas it is through the panchayat raj roads drains and many more things light toilets school hospitals market everything it is implementing through panchayat raj encourage adult education technical vocational training development for human resource it is through panchayat raj and mgnrgs implementation prime ministers avas yojana sorry indira avas yojana gram sadak yojana valmiki housing program all these things through the panchayat raj productive activities like cattle rearing poultry fisheries all encouraged through panchayat raj social welfare programs like for uh, disabled widows old sick mentally retarded people all encouraged financially financial security is given through panchayat raj all these things we have to write for four marks the last one is women and rural development what is the relation between women and rural development a man's life shaped by women we know that her role is very significant in development i think uh, we know inclusive development everybody should take part in the process of development number of women working in uh, fishery silk worm horticulture floriculture there is a participation of women rendering service in government hospitals itbt and many more sector she is working and has the opportunity of handle even political power 50% reservation given for her in local bodies election to make rural women financially independent self help groups are formed you know self help groups are formed created availing loan productive activities and savings encouraging and uh, there is a great role in get rid of social levels like dowry and child marriage in rural villages there is a great role of women in uh, eradicating dowry social levels like child marriage and she contribute towards building a clean progressive society there is a role of women so in this session we have uh, discussed all about rural development thank you thank you for joining in this session